Sunday marks a year since the tornado tore through Red Hawk State Park here in Sheraton, claiming one life. There's been a lot of cleanup done here in the campground, but it is still at least a year or more away from reopening. Pete and Jolene Crawford were on their way to Burlington. We drove up in here to see what we could see. They have seen pictures, but had to see Red Hawk State Park for themselves. It's pretty incredible, the damage that was done, and of course, we see the park still closed. For Chad Kelchin, park supervisor with the Iowa DNR, it is hard to believe it's been a year since the deadly tornado. Still kind of gives me chills um, because it was such a shock. A shock that caused about $500,000 in damage. This is debris that we've picked up out of the timber. Some of the debris will be in the timber for a while. These were 100, 100 year old material trees. Kelchin walked us through the closed campground. This was a completely shaded campground. He says the DNR has made efforts to replace the trees lost to the tornado. We planted about a thousand trees in this small area uh, right here in the timber to start the reforestation process. When it comes to the campsites, the cleanup has exposed the extent of the tornado damage. We can see where were the electrical lines hit, where were the water lines hit, what's missing. Work to get the campground back open is at the very least a year or more away. Some are hoping that timeline will be dramatically reduced. This is our first time here. Uh, just out of curiosity, but we'd certainly like to come back sometime and enjoy the park after it's cleaned up. Kelton says the goal is to put something in that is better if possible, or at least equal to what was here. At Red Hawk State Park in Sheridan, Marcus McIntosh, KCCI 8 News, Iowa's News Leader.